Hello everyone. Have I got a treat for you today? I have got the author of Babaschuk's, Lisa Melnichuk, with me today. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you, Karen. Lovely to be here. And we adore this book. And of course, it is illustrated by our one and only Veronica Rook, as you can probably see with the amazing style. But Lisa, I want to talk today about the amazing history behind this book and mm. your passion for getting this story out into the world. Can you share with us the, the history behind Baba Sure. Shows? Every year, because I'm of Ukrainian uh, descent or Ukrainian parents, every year I have handled uh, a very sad event in November that remembers um, people who lived through a famine that's now a genocide. It's called Holodomor. And each November, I would organise a commemorative event for our Ukrainian communities um, that's pretty sad. It's remembering millions of Ukrainians that starved to death. So you can imagine it's quite a, a horrific and a, a very um, traumatic time for these people. Interestingly, we do have survivors of that famine, of that genocide, who live here in Perth. Yes. And when I came to completing a doctorate, you need to select a topic that no one else has selected, basically. And so I did end up using the Holodomor, this famine genocide, as my topic. Mm -hmm. Well, that opened up uh, an amazing history that I wasn't aware of and yeah. not many Ukrainians of my vintage were aware of either, and yet it affected their parents, their yeah. families. So in 2003, I had this uh, study okayed by the university, the University of Notre Dame, and I began work. And part of that work, apart from doing the research work through lots of archival data and books, was to interview people who had lived through mm -hmm. those two years. So it's 1932 and 1933, just before the big war. Well, that was the most amazing experience. So from 2003 till about 2007 or eight, mm -hmm. I was interviewing these survivors and their stories were being recorded for the first time. So I thought I might have had 10 people who yeah. talked to me. In the end, I recorded 42 interviews. Wow. So they became the basis then of two publications after my thesis. So my thesis was conferred. I received that in 2013. Mm -hmm. So it tells you how long it took for me to actually yeah. get through this work. And two books were spawned, one Silent Memories and then the second one, Holo de Mar. We and have Silent Memories here. One second, I'll grab it for yeah. you. So that's the original past my thesis. So you rework your thesis so that people can actually read uh, the story without a lot of uh, referencing and what have you, although you still need to retain them. And then the, the big book is actually a book of the story. So all of the interviews were then reworked into more story format so that people actually really got to understand how this famine affected them as, as a human being. And it, they were pretty traumatic stories. So very hard to, A, interview them and then uh, translate because they were interviewed in Ukrainian and then eventually rewriting them into a, a more readable format in the big book. And that won a gold medal in 2019. It was a publishing medal uh, yeah. in the US. Um, now, it came 2019, COVID hit. Yeah. And it was the June of that year, I had broken a wrist, I'd had two surgeries, and I'm looking down the tube of another commemorative event in November, and I start planning that early. Well, I couldn't bear to do a sad event mm -hmm. again. It's a very sad event. It's very challenging. We, we go back over the history, we show interviews that I've done, and in my head, through the beginning of my research work, I had this story uh, from one of the survivors, and she's actually the grandmother of my children. Yay. She's their paternal grandmother. Her name is Bubba Helen. I want to and, show you Bubba Helen in the book. Yeah, and that is so true <laughs> a depiction. Veronica's been unbelievable in managing to really capture the essence of Bubba Helen. Her name is actually Anella Perigella. 
So Baba Helen's chooks, she's always had chooks, and I know this, but in the, the book, the big book, page 113, she tells the story of how she and her twin broke into a collective farm because they, they had the collectivization by then, broke into the farm and just broke geese eggs, many of them, and drank the contents. They were so hungry. Well, she mm. was violently ill. She's never forgotten those moments. And yet she's had chooks and chook eggs and done lots of things with chook eggs. So I've had this story in my head of Baba Helen and not the geese, but the chooks. Yeah. And I thought, I just need to lighten my load because I find this history just devastatingly challenging. Um, I sobbed through a lot of my interviews. Yeah. And I need children to have something happy, um, but also maybe understanding a little bit of the Ukrainian culture. Um, people were buying chickens through COVID. They were getting involved in cooking and eggs are always part of cooking cakes yeah. and what have you. And so Baba Helen's chooks was not only in my head anymore, it became uh, a physical entity. Yeah. And um, I unbelievably read an article about Karen in my local paper and as I'm looking for a publisher to deal with this very unique and very special history I believed that Karen was the person for me so I made contact I'm not shy of putting myself out there I made contact and met this beautiful person who was totally perfect for my story and for me as a human being. And then not only did I meet Karen, but then when she presented me with prospective illustrators, the one that leapt up at me was Veronica Rook. Mm -hmm. And what a gold mine I have in these two people, the publisher, the illustrator, and so Bubba's Chooks, um, took it evolved yeah, and became so this here we are and I'm absolutely thrilled with the outcome the advice Beautiful. and the consideration for my work has been outstanding and everything I've asked to have included in the book I didn't have to do much with the illustrations what a godsend that was <laughs> but little things you know I'd like a map or I'd like this could you please include this mm -hmm. and both Karen and Veronica you have been unbelievable and so here we are Baba's Chooks through COVID year I just find it such a sweet yeah. story about an historical event that's so tragic um, but it can teach children in such a gentle, soft way, but also introduce them to Ukrainian culture. New culture, that's the yeah. thing. It absolutely is, Lisa. And oh. whenever I got introduced to Bob's Chucks, I was like, wow. And I know my kids love Chucks and they can oh. connect and relate. But imagine learning something more about, mm. about Chucks that, oh. you know, that gives them some deeper knowledge mm. uh, and a different culture it was just amazing mm. and i we adore veronica and the the bond between author and illustrator is just so important oh, because this book is a is is a product of mm. the vision that the combined vision mm. that you of three have. people yeah of it's three people it really requires um I, I just think i had almost the easiest part to play because the stories just float around in my head as i've said to you there's you know another nine but you have got to get those stories down uh, on paper uh, in a visual sense and in a way that connects with readers and in this case age four to seven or plus yeah. and uh, and that requires a collaboration of three people and two of whom who are experts in this <laughs> business. Um, You're so. an expert in Ukrainian culture. Like we could mm. not bring this book to be. You know, that's, mm. this is why it's important. And even down to the back cover, I just adore this. Mm. <laughs> and all, all Chooks have got Ukrainian names, which yeah. um, when I've suggested to people, because I've started now to, to get it out there, when I've told people that I've actually given them all Ukrainian names, yeah. um, the Ukrainian people are just absolutely flabbergasted. 
And they're actually names of people no. uh, whom I have known. Um, so it's really special for me. And people who uh, who have some semblance of, of the cultural ideas behind it all, uh, they will all smile. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. And each chook, credit to Veronica, has such a unique personality. Um, she's captured the essence of the personalities and actually the chook's name really resonates with the appearance of the chook. So I'm delighted. I love how Veronica can bring the child. You know, she, she comes from the... the she brings it to the mindset. She knows what kids want in an yeah. illustration and so many quirky things in the background. She does. So next, obviously, there's lots of these books in the, that, are, that, that are happening now. And mm. Veronica's actually working on Baba's Magic Chucks. Mm. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> I smile when I, when I think of it because it's so colourful and beautiful. And we are not mm. give it all away yet. Just no. watch this space. And there's a magic laying box in all of Baba's Chuck stories. So yes. the magic laying box is going to spawn some interesting events yes it's just mm -hmm. so so special so today you're watching this um this interview with um with lisa who is another one of our amazing perth authors and that is why we get to do it side by side so we're so mm. lucky and blessed to be here in perth western australia and to celebrate children's book day so it's just so, so amazing and we're going to host an event soon so watch this space for all of our perth based children's book authors which mm. will be um, so amazing and fun to share these amazing stories wider um, with the Australian community, but also globally, because these stories are worth sharing. Lisa, thank you so much for mm. joining me today. It's my pleasure. I'll just add in there, I, I was actually a teacher librarian for 14 years of my professional working life. Yay. So I was on the other end, uh, dealing with Children's Book Week and making sure that we were exposing children to really good quality literature. Mm -hmm. So I had a serious feeling of responsibility of really preparing something of worth yeah. uh, to children and our reading community out there. So yeah. I'm thrilled to bits um, with how this has worked out and I'm very grateful oh, to you, Karen. It's uh, my joy Looking forward to, to the, the way forward. See, isn't it so fun joining authors on their journey? It's just an absolute joy and a privilege. Thank you so much, Lisa, for joining me. Guys, go to serenitypress.org, grab your copy today, mm -hmm. and it will be distributed widely to Australian New Zealand bookstores um, in May. Um, Try to Australian New Zealand, but it's available globally now. So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for joining us. Bye.